Crews at the scene of a three alarm fire near gas cover early this morning after shots were fired on the property. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 10 o'clock on Portland CW. I'm Wayne Haverly. The gunfire rang out during the battle to save a home and made the firefight even more dangerous and challenging. Coin 6 is Jennifer Dallin. She's live now with the details. Jennifer, what do you know? Good evening, Wayne. It was a frightening situation for those crews. It's dangerous enough having to deal with a major but also add the fact that you might get shot and those worries on top of it. Well, that's what those firefighters had to deal with early this morning. They got there, had difficulties right off the bat with power lines burning off the building, getting on the ground, blocking access for firefighters. Spokesperson Matt Johnston says the battle to save this house outside Gaston. It was really close to a house. Other vehicles were catching on fire. Um, and one of the vehicles was probably five feet or less from the uh, structure uh, and it caught fire. He says the call came in as a barn fire off rural Northwest Cut Road. Not only did the fire crews have to truck water in, they faced down power lines and a fast moving fire. Then shots rang out. I think it was about four minutes after they upgraded to a fourth, uh, third alarm. Um, they called out with emergency traffic that uh, someone had a gun and there was potentially shots fired. Firefighters scrambled for cover. Crews yeah, found safety. Some of them went behind trees. Others just hid behind the fire engines. They just tried to find hard cover. Around 25 to 30 law enforcement officers from Washington and Yamhill counties rushed to the property. They were able to come to the scene, mitigate the problem that had to deal with the gun. They deemed the, the scene safe for us to continue our fire operations. Johnston says firefighters believe the shots did not come from inside the fire, but across the property. Thankfully, from what it sounds like, they weren't targeting towards the firefighters. After the scary situation involving the gun, we, we actually got a good handle on the fire. The barn, several vehicles, some trailers, some other things like that were all uh, a complete loss. But the house was saved and it didn't spread to the forest. And Johnson said it appears that someone was living in that barn at the time of the fire, and it is a total loss. He says that the cause of the fire and why the shots were fired is still under investigation. Wayne, back to you in the studio.